Well, if you watched my first video, you'll know that I was having problems with the original generator I got from Harbor Freight. It was surging and hesitating off idle. So I took it back and they replaced it with, uh, with, no, with no hesitation. So here's the latest one and it's running great. But first, a uh, warning about your first oil change. I decided to return this, um, to exchange the generator because it's surging. And so I was draining the oil out and this is after eight hours of running and I can literally see reflections of uh, metallic material in the oil. And this is after eight hours, so. Just know that you need to change your oil pretty quick after the first run. Another one. We'll see how this one goes. See if it runs any better. Right out of the box, this one seems to be a lot smoother. Uh, don't have a load on it currently. I got the heater hooked up and it does. This one actually seems to, it seems to have, uh, be running at a lower RPM, but I, it could be my imagination. But anyway, I'm gonna put the heater on low. It's not on eco mode, so I can definitely hear that there's a a load on the generator now as compared to running it with no load. You can look at the amps, it's 725 watts. I'm gonna put it on, on high now. I noticed that this generator, when it's not in eco mode, it still doesn't run at full RPM. So, as you load the generator up, um, with, uh, as you require more of the generator, it uh, at a certain point it actually starts to increase in uh, RPM. So it seems that even when it's not in eco mode, if it's not a heavy load, it still runs. Uh, at a pretty economic RPM, which I think is a, a nice feature, because then you really never have to use eco mode, unless you're running nothing but a bunch of laptops or computers, refrigerator, TV, charging the battery, then I guess you could run it in eco mode. But this is, let's see, it's, that's uh, one third load. 1,000 watts, one-third load. I was talking to an electrical engineer today and he said that volt amps are not the same as watts. So, I'll say that this is 1,037 volt amps. This one still vibrates about the same, but I guess that's not a big deal. It's nice and quiet, there's no rattling from this one so far. And this one doesn't surge. It hasn't been surged. If I turn it completely, the load off. There's a little fluctuation in the throttle. I actually took the side cover off and I can see the throttle, you know, it'll compensate when the RPMs um, go below a certain level. It'll give it a little more throttle and then it'll overcompensate. It's just back and forth. It's doing a little overcompensation. But it's not the same as what it was doing uh, before when it was act like it was going dead. And also, this one revs up immediately off throttle as opposed to hesitating. So that's a big difference. See, there was there. I mean, it, it, it doesn't stutter. It takes this load and doesn't stutter like the other one. So I made a good call by returning uh, exchange. So I'll go ahead and hook it up to the RV. The water heater plus the refrigerator plus the fan on the air conditioner, it was uh, pulling 430 something amps before I even turned on the water heater. So it's 
drag 430 from this. And it's running smooth. Okay, that's with the water heater off. That's with the water heater on. And it is, no it is not on the eco mode. Water heater off. 1400 watts. Water heater on. And this is with the air conditioner on. Along with the refrigerator and the computer and the um, charger converter. Okay, I needed to use the. Oh, it's overloaded. Yeah. 